Synchro stop capture. GoPro stop capture. GoPro stop capture. Hey folks, it's Jared Manning in from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Pretty exciting stuff. We got about eight inches here on the south shore of Lake Tahoe last night and this morning. It probably won't last for very long, at least not in this cold, dry, fluffy state. So I decided this morning I'd come out here for a little bit of a silent ski session, mostly working on telemark turns. I've had a bunch of inquiries about how to do telemark turns and I have to admit that I'm not a teacher for telemark turns. I'm still a student and learning. I watch other YouTube videos. I ask questions of friends about telemark turning, but I wish I could offer more than just what I'm doing here, but I will say the couple of things that I've been working on today specifically, for example, are a quicker lead change and that kind of goes in line with a lot of what I talk about with just regular cross-country skiing and that's being light and quick on your feet and that ability to make a quick lead change is critical to being safe right so that you can change your direction in case you do uh, a counter as some sort of obstacle uh, that you didn't see or you saw at the last minute that sort of thing but it also makes it so that you're just running a much more symmetrical line down the hill which is always a nice thing i'm also working on that angulation angulation is something that i talked about way more in detail in the hockey stop video that i produced a month or so ago so check that out for more information and the weight distribution on skis. So with telemark turns, you're supposed to be 50-50, uh, 50% <laughs> avalanche control. We got enough snow for avalanche control to go, so that's good. But anyway, the weight change is a 50, or sorry, the weight distribution is 50-50, 50% 50, 50, 50 of your weight on the front ski, 50 on the back ski. The problem with most beginners, and I know I uh, do it a lot too, is that, it feels like you got half your weight on it because you're not familiar, but it's probably close to like a 70-30, which 70 on the front and 30 on the back, which means you're... Jeez. Which means that the 30% on your back is more of a... That back ski is acting more like a rudder and it's not performing uh, what it's supposed to be doing by, um, you know, compressing it flat, edging it at the correct angle. So. 
the general idea that a lot of instructors will say is instead of 50 50 think of 70 percent on your back ski just so that you're not going to get 70 but then you'll maybe get 50 percent so anyway just applying more pressure to the back ski weight distribution angulation and a faster lead change that's that's what i've been working on this morning <laughs> man yeah it's pretty awesome though that we got this much snow and there goes somebody's dog they're probably out snowshoeing it and dogs generally don't like avalanche control <laughs> well i don't think any animal really likes fireworks or large loud explosions so i can see him running through the forest anyway uh just a silent video other than this little uh brief intro and outro if you like the video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my youtube channel check out tahotrailguide.com if you have any feedback or questions post it in the comment section below i just want to say i really appreciate everyone who has contributed both on a monthly basis through patreon and on a one-time basis through paypal and venmo you guys are amazing i totally appreciate it anyway i'm gonna get back on it go for a few more turns and then head back to do all the other work that's sitting on my desk at home for me so take care folks <laughs>